actually now have the action. It's about to unfold here as we get into our first matchup here of NA East, and we might as well jump into the current in-game leaders right now. We got uh, Abel with three points or three eliminations, Eevee with three, as well as official, uh, official Zig, I think, or official, I, I mean, I'm not even going to attempt to Official 4K Zig, I think. Uh, official we'll 4K, so you can find Zig on TV at 4K, and trust me, but you will notice right away, we are hopping in. It's circle four, 40 players remaining, 21 Ooh. duos, so a high. He's actually going with a great tack, but a 107 following it up with that common suppressed oh. SMG. Will he be able oh, to find no! it? Oh, that is a heartbreaker. But his teammate, I think, was there for the pickup. Will he be able to quite get it? Needs to secure it all the way oh. through. No, who that mango taking down the one shot mongrel. Will he be able to get up his duo? Sad goth boy trying to protect him right now, because if he can get that Revive off and get protected for a second. He has the Chug Jug in he's his inventory. Pressure. Yeah, Smack, but Smack is super low on HP, Golden Boy. Yeah, I don't think he's very much aware of this, but he's going to go for the pickup, and Smack's going to try and challenge it. He's going to play this one smart. He does manage to pick up no. I think his teammate's still going to be down. Yeah, I still see him on all fours down. He's going to push right on in. So because of that, that's going to give him the Siphon, where he's able to get a couple more HP, 50 HP to boot out of that one. So it'll put him in a bit of a better position against Hudet Mango. But Mango is still going to have that life lead. Uh, probably a little more recent as for Season 8. We have seen, particularly in North America, a little bit less so in uh, Europe, particularly with duos. Oh! oh Hudat Mango showing his accuracy right there. No problem picking up the player, rotating through the open. Uh, but as we were saying, NA definitely has more of an affinity for rotating, using the ballers, using them for safety, guaranteeing the placement points. And now the only super big disadvantage of that is you're not really able to capitalize on the eliminations. As we see players now all rotating into this massive... As the game goes on, we'll be checking out the action feed to see where they currently stand. But now we're going to be making our way over to Viper, who just snagged himself an elimination on the Lag King. Won't be able to lag his way out of that one. Ooh. That's going to be a huge shot there. And gets oh. the oh, gets the down, but not the confirmation. And because of that, ends up getting picked off by his teammate. Yeah, it looks like he will be able to get the Elim before when you're pinned against the circle trying to rotate through this can be very dangerous as everyone just wants to be safe you can see edge gamer oh, picking up not one play. but two quick downs right there and now he's going to swing by and try and swing the end of the circle but somebody else is behind him seven hp he has to be careful here this is going to be very rough for them evie by the way picking off two there on the art picking off one on the action feed that was going to be spy god but edge gamer won't be able to stay alive it was seven hp in a dream a valiant effort but will eventually go down and look up there Let's convert because you haven't necessarily been in the flow of the game as much. We see Armstrong oh, here nice converting. Shot. No problem. Like you said, 220 right there. Pick it up. But the other player dropping oh, down right away. Eevee! It's going to be Eevee who jumped in right into the box and was able to take him out. So Zyan's going to be right above Eevee. You're going to have Renegade down low, and you're also going to have Srab who's going to be hanging out at the ultimate low. So Renegade and Srab are going to be right next to each other. Who makes it to the top three situation. A, a 1v1v1. Renegade's going to jump down low. Srab's going to be right there as we go into that two cam. And we can see how Eevee is able to control the ultimate ultimate high from here. Now all of these guys have secured at least seven placement points. Eevee now deciding to waterfall down. He's going to close the gap. Srab being forced out of the storm, looking to find the engage look, on look Fury. Look at this. Look at where the circle's going to be going. Because of that, he's actually going to block him out completely and try and force him away from this. So they got to go outside of the storm. And Eevee's just going to have full control of this. So well done. Eevee laying down the fire there, but there's no more builds to work with. So he just has to try and get around here. But Eevee, oh no, this is not what you want to see happen here as Eevee's going to be stuck and has to find his way back into the storm. But just, you thought that he was going to be able to wrestle control away from these other two players. But instead, it was going to be Srab, who was down low the whole time. That was such an incredible end game because like you talked about, Eevee saw his opportunity to cone everyone else off, but he used too many of his own mats and didn't calculate and didn't execute. So there are 24 eliminations with okay. 27 players left in the lobby. That is not a small amount. Normally we talk about how DYL or Cowboy and Squick are doing pretty well right there with six, five, and four. That'd be a lot. But Dinosaur Exibot and Polaroids are just pushing everybody here. And again, trying to take another fight despite being down HP. And as another knockdown, will they be able to convert? Yes, they do. So up to 25 that eliminations already. And we're not even at placement points yet. That is ridiculous. 25 eliminations between the two of them? Just, you have a hot game. You know that you're playing the best Fortnite you could possibly have ever played. You just got to try and go for this, man. 
They're just gonna fight their way right into other people's one by ones. They don't care. They don't care that you own that territory. They will take it away from you gladly. And he's gladly. Even, he's even leaving the rift to go to continue trying to find this player. They're going for a high score. They want to see as many of those numbers as they can. They know the player's down. They get the trap play, force him into the corner. Now that's incredibly intelligent because the trap won't fire or hit him if he's in that back corner, but you know exactly where he's gonna be standing. Here, 27 eliminations. And just sacrificing himself, he just throws the rocket down and he does so much damage and then just follows it up with another pick there with the shoddy. What is going on here, Sundown? I am physically uncomfortable right now with what I'm seeing. They need to be very careful this though. This is a children's show. True, but they got very, very lucky with the, well, it's lucky and unlucky in the sense that the circle came down to them. They don't have to build up onto the high ground. Forcing those players out. There's going to be a baller down low. Oh, and they see that player directly below, utilizing oh. the RPG. Oh. It lands for 121, and now Go they're just... inside the storm! <laughs> they're just running him down, not letting him out there. That is now up to 28 eliminations. One thing we did talk about, how we are still working and iterating that ELM counter, not updating in that circumstance. It is okay. We'll keep count for you. That's 28 so far between them. No, that's not a mistake. They are on 28 ELIMs and already up into three points. So yeah, that part's not a mistake. Yeah, they're, they're, so they're up now to 31 points already from this match. That's absurd. That is just craziness, but they gotta be careful though, because he only has 40 HP and he's gonna have his back against a storm dinosaur. So if he's you know, pokes out a little too much, right? Maybe takes a little bit too much time. Could end up getting a tick of damage and he's gonna go up and get this ultimate high ground. Luckily for him, was able to get right to that tower there to be able to build the floor down. More pressure, more One. shots. That's gonna be topping himself off right at 100. This is absurd, Sundown. Dinosaurs are carnivore and he's eating the server alive. That was three Elims right there from just aiming that RPG towards the back and catching people oh. rotating against the storm. They're on ultimate high, but Polarized doesn't care. He's split off. He's saying, I'm going for that high score. I want to chase down these players. We'll take the two power positions, the ultimate high and the backside circle rotation they with the care. health advantage. They want to see as many as they can get up to at least 32. You see Polarized getting Dylai now top five already. So five plays points as well 37 total points from match one at a minimum from these two as they're continuing to run out and that's 20 elims individually for polaroids you talk about how dinosaur was eating he's eating as well this is the game of their lives right here polarize and dinosaur oh but polarize is gonna get tagged he's gonna go down to 20 hp nicely done there he's gonna reset and be able to use those minis he has his teammate right above him if they don't win this game, I will be so shocked because they are running roughshod all over these players here. It's almost as if, like, everyone else is building structures so that they can use it. It's like skeet shooting out there. King and Donnie, more like the Jester, is going to be made a clown as he just deletes him right at the side there. Another one! Another one! catching him as immediately as he rotated out. It looks like they're just a step ahead of all of these players and they're continuing to try and push. They want to find more. The best healing is that siphon and getting the elimination yep. as the other opponent edits the cone back and he doesn't care. He's like, I'll just keep shooting. There's just four players left here. There's four players left and two of them are polarized in Dinosaur. They're going to go hunting. This is it. They have, they have secured this one. Beautifully done. The Rocket's going to delete him and the victory royale. Oh my word. 36. So it's actually 37, but I'm actually hearing now that it was 43, 43? total. 43 total plus the victory out. 53 points from their first game. Very well done from Polarized and Dinosaur. That is going to not rocket, not catapult. That's going to trebuchet them up to the top of the leaderboard you may for NAE. Say something in French, people. I don't even know what that means. Trebuchet? It, it is the superior siege weapon. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I, I mean, like, do we keep going? A great work from those two. Daring. Look at the pressure. Now that they have him down, they know that they basically have him pinned in the corner. They're just going to push out. Wow. That was just such a beautiful shot. And, and you're just going to jump right on in, right? Continue to apply the pressure. Yep, utilizing this 1v2 tactic where the assault rifle is just constantly making you look at one side, but the other player is pushing in, not expecting it. Female going down there. No problem from N9 Jan, uh, Jan in arena. I say just, well, that's 125 points. Like, I might be able to get there if I try really, really, really hard. 
That's just nasty. Yeah, it was, it was very impressive. I mean, at any point, like, and once you get to that, you can tell they weren't taking their foot off the gas, just as Derek and his partner are not right here. N9JN oh. able to pick that up, but will Derek be able to get res? He's trying to get the distance there. Will he be able to edit and cover? The storm is on the way. It looks like, unfortunately, he's going to have to leave him. Will he build up for that launch pad? Looks like that's going to be the decision, but missing a couple builds through structures as well. Yep, still allows for some pressure on opponents. Oh. No longer doing the health damage. Now Justin J Dog takes oh. some shots there. And unfortunately not editing the wall there. But a brilliant use of the baller just as cover. Not even inside of it, but getting his body physically behind it to use it as a barrier. And that's very well executed. The siphon then getting him back up to 79 effective HP. And he's looking for a gap. You need to make sure you own these walls now in this circumstance. But and 9 jn taking shots at him as well. Will he be able to find the Elam? But everyone now into the top 12, so they know they get at least the three points. They're gonna be happy with that. Bake has gone down, oh. so he is alone. Great RPG, but will he find something? Trap goes down, and a campfire oh. on the low ground, but he gets the Elam. Can he find a second? Getting two really good punch shots. Oh, Third nice. punch shot picks it up as well. Needs to get that Siphon though. Ah, he's getting tagged up though. He's gotta get himself into a better position here, Sundown. That's the problem. He was able to get himself uh, a lot of HP from the Siphon because he was just shooting players left, right, and center. Just coming through as well. You can check the patch notes to read it. Kills as just dropped he's down. able to. Yeah, he does drop down. And no, he wasn't able to catch himself. That's unfortunate as Santas is able to clean that up. Get all of the utility from there. Will he be able to pop those? Sexy Poo's still getting, he's still getting eliminations. He picked off Shark as well. Now we're going to be in a top five for the duos here. Six players left in the lobby. Typically, these players are the ultimate high ground. They're the ones who come out on top of the dub. Santa's going to get tagged up in his baller. Just wisely enough, just getting away from that one. Yeah, this next rotation is key, though, because Relax, I'm sorry, might end up running out of utility here as they start working back over the other utility. But Santos is not covering his back, did not own that wall. Everyone has gotten the seven placement points. They're looking oh. for the victory out. And the Elam Santos dropping down. Great shot there. Great now it's game. just the 1v1 with Relax, I'm sorry, oh, Ultimate yeah, High. Relax misery. Santos is reading this one like a book here. He knows exactly where he wants to go. He's controlling the pace of this one. He's letting him know. He's giving him the space. And he's telling him, I have all the mats. I can continue to hold this one off and prepare myself to be able to move up further and further up. And he's going to drop right in front of him. That's it, Santos. He's had a great game so far. He's going to be able to close it out as Santos gets the victory. Royale with a seven elimination game, eight total with his teammate Tur Clerk. And that will be the dub for him. Wow. At three as well. So fairly spread out and well rounded. We are at 24 players remaining, 14 duos. So just outside of the placement points. Let's see who's able to execute as we're over by the sunny steps. So geysers and the volcano potentially in play here. Big fan of this area. As well. Convert as Entropy. Him and his partner already at seven Elim. So they want to clear this Elim out here and try and get into that top 12. Because then it's the two Elims plus top 12 for them. Entropy there with the elimination, which I think is something else. But then again, though, I mean, let me not act like I know anything about math or Roman numerals or anything like that. We were talking about <laughs> Entropy and my flow. Oh, oh yes! Love the user, that. Utilizing the duo snipe combination, heavy sniper, well and then that suppressed, but they haven't converted on it yet. His duo partner able to cone him off a little inside the buildings. They have the player right Ooh. there. Great 78 shot. Will he be able to find a second? Not quite able to get it, but there's a trap directly behind him. Doesn't quite fire off. Great Elib coming out from Mike Flo. That's up to eight for them. Now Riggy trying to land behind. Will they be able to maintain the advantage here on high ground as we're into the top 10 duos? Ah. Another good Elim from them. But unfortunately, Mike is going to go down. Entropy's going to have to leave him. Will he be able to pick the one up here? No, just going to wall that player off and try and get high ground. I think good call here, Golden Boy. Maintaining control, putting himself in a good spot, putting down the campfire, looking to pick shots, hoping to get the siphon to top him off. We do have a couple more ballers in play. People still using those safe rotations. Oh, Notice nicely that done. And that will be the last of the duos who gets knocked. So it's a completely solo game from here on out, unless they can get that pickup. Probably not going to happen Highly this way. It. So it's nine solo players all going, trying, being cheered on by their duo, saying, you got this. Now we got the scramble. Look at all these players are going to be just continuing to, to scuffle down low over here. Entropy 
He's gonna try and wrestle for this high ground. Oh, He's gonna tag out Dragon Fury, who, edit. by the way, Dragon Fury, shout out to him. He probably didn't do all that much, but he managed to get his teammates and him some decent placement points five, for that one. Five placement points for them getting into the top seven, so well done there, but a sick edit coming out from Entropy, and now he has ultimate high. He's I love that decision to put the poison darts down, just like daring them to, to try and like fight them around that area, you know? Yeah, can't come anywhere close to that now. And nope. you see he's maintaining ultimate high, but no spike traps to go with it. Now gets the edit back, still on ultimate high, but the players didn't challenge, they just took the mid-ground tarp underneath him. And now we have basically a straight vertical finish. As we're on the last circle, they have down. to start fighting each other. He's going for it here. Entropy's going to be right above, but he got Hermione, and you also have Hermione, who, by the way, was our, our game leader when we jumped into the action here. Still very much going to be in this game. Six eliminations for Entropy. Entropy only has four builds remaining. He's going to play this one out small, or smartly, intelligently, if you will. Yeah, but he can work down knowing that the tarp is directly above him, but the second he drops, he knows there's going to be a contestant from the player. The player oh! not quite seeing him, but he's missing the shot. Unfortunately, that was a little bit of a lag behind, but no problem. Entropy picking it up, getting that 50 health back. But look at Monty. Monty's actually going to have the health lead. Hermione's going to go, and Monty's going to be able to stay alive from this. He has the campfire, but it, it's not going to be enough, and that is going to do it. Monty wins by just surviving. Just surviving. Nets Monty the win of things and at the top well we got uh, no oh, surprise well, yeah, i was just about to say well, shocked. well i i am a little shocked honestly because i was assuming that uh 43 elim game was their first match having the first match just being a little easier for these top end players with that being said 53 points in one match and then only five in the follow-up match so mm. i think it's going to be we'll probably see them start to filter down a little bit after that explosive yeah. start we have seen peak and rue before we've seen scented and psalm bizzle demo dubs and mega a lot of familiar Ronaldo, faces. Ziff, uh eco nasui haven't seen them up there as much so good push from them being in the top 10 and then also shout out to the boys from across the pond uh benji fishy and mr savage breaking into that top 10 as well that's a 